everybody, Mike again over here at RV and Camping. Uh, what I want to do today is go over the different types of campers that there are, starting with your pop-up campers all the way up to your Class A RVs. So there's a lot of pros and cons to each of them, as well as what you would need to pull those types of uh, campers. So I'm going to touch base on those. Let me know if you have any questions. First, I'm going to start off with the pop-up campers. Now, the pop-up campers are a nice transition to go from tent camping into your camper-type camping. For this, uh, they are relatively light. Most any vehicle that has a towing capability can tow a camper uh, that is a pop-up. With this, it has the tent-like material that kind of goes around on the top of the camper. That stuff will fold in, making it a little more compact. Plenty of room, though. You can stand up in it. Uh, depending on your height of course uh, but they have plenty of storage spaces a lot of them will have little mini kitchens in them you can have them with uh, the air conditioning and heating as well so they make it very comfortable for you very good option if you are on a budget and also do not have a vehicle that can tow a whole lot of weight so this is a very good starting option for you next we have the travel trailer this is the most commonly bought camper on the market they come with the largest variety of all the campers in length, floor plan, as well as features. Able to accommodate most family sizes, they can sleep as many as eight or more. Most can easily be pulled with a half ton truck. However, some of the larger travel trailers may require a three quarter ton truck. Next up, we have the fifth wheel camper. Of all the campers that you can pull behind, the fifth wheel is the largest model that you can get. They make excellent live-in spaces, as well as have plenty of features that you can get. Uh, with these, they are on the higher end of the price spectrum, but with that extra living space and all the extra features that you can get, they do make it well worth it. Being that they are large, they are requiring at least a three-quarter ton truck to pull and can either be pulled with a gooseneck attachment or a fifth wheel hookup. Next, we take a look at toy haulers. Toy haulers can either come as a travel trailer or as a fifth wheel camper. The purpose of a toy hauler is to allow someone to carry small recreational vehicles inside their campers. From ATVs to motorcycles and even dirt bikes, a toy hauler can give you the living space you need while safely storing your recreational vehicles. Next up, we jump into the Class A motorhome. The Class A is the largest of the motorhomes on the market and can be found in either a diesel or a gas burner. Especially great for traveling long distances, you and your family can travel in style and comfort. With the ability to also tow a vehicle behind it, you can park your Class A wherever you camp and can take a personal vehicle around town without lugging the Class A everywhere. The smallest version of the motorhome, the Class B, is made for the camper that doesn't require a lot of space. Very easy to maneuver and will fit in most spaces that any other camper will not. These are great for single campers or couples who may not be comfortable driving a large motorhome or pulling large campers behind them. Last, we have the Class C motorhome. With the extra space that a Class B doesn't have and that is easier to maneuver than a Class A, the Class C is a sweet middle ground you may be looking for. Perfect for small families on road trips, the Class C gives you the ability to travel just about anywhere you'd like and the right amount of comfort. So that pretty much covers all of the different types of camper models there are out there. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite kind is and also if you have one that you would like for me to cover more in depth. Thank you and happy camping.